Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today I want to talk a little bit more about the Graph GRT uh, we're on CoinGecko at the moment. Now we've looked at this uh, project a couple of times over the last few videos but we haven't actually done an in-depth look at it to see exactly what it is. A lot of people are not really catching on to this but um, this is a very big project right now. Recently just launched on Coinbase because it's a Coinbase venture and um, there's a lot of hype around this project at the moment. If we start with the market cap, currently at 576 million. Okay, so for me, it's one of the mid cap altcoins. If you compare that with like XRP, if you compare that with Cardano or Chainlink, those are in the billions. I think around 5 billion for Cardano, 5 billion for Chainlink. All right, so this is a mid cap altcoin. And obviously, we know that we are in a bull run at the moment with Bitcoin breaking into a new all time high. And we know what the old season uh, uh, market cap cycles are and um, the money will begin to flow out of Bitcoin into the higher cap altcoins and then down into the mid cap altcoins and then down into the low cap altcoins. All right. So there's times and seasons for trading certain types of market cap coins. All right. So for me, um, I mean, I'm holding a lot of Ethereum and I've actually got a huddle position on this as well. Um, if we look at the chart. Okay, I put in a huddle position down here. Now we know that in the, the previous videos we were buying the graph down here and I was take we were taking profits. All right. I then actually waited for this pullback and I put a position right on this purple line down here. Alright, guys. So now I am in profit on that small huddle position as well. And when we got up here, I actually put a very big position on because I anticipated that we were gonna get a move upwards. Or right? I held that for a couple of hours and took a nice profit right at the top over here. And now we're getting that pullback. I was actually debating taking profit on my huddle position and waiting to scale back in. But I didn't actually do that. All right, I just held through. And uh, because, you know, the, the purpose of me putting that position on was to huddle. All right, but, you know, I get the urge to take profits because that's just me. Um, some will say that's a double top. And we have to wait and see whether this uh, confirms and wait and see whether there's some further downside for this uh, before this gets scooped back up. Now, I think that... If this goes does go down any further, obviously, especially if it takes out this this higher low over here, and um, people are going to be scooping this up, all right, because of the hype that's around it. And uh, like we said, there's there's many things to consider as to why this may be a good one for the alt season. Okay, so this this is the time when people are actually asking me about good coins to hold in alt season. I believe this is one of them. All right, if we go back over to Coin Gecko. Uh, we've looked at the market cap, okay, just under 600 million. So very high supply, okay, and we know that uh, the fully diluted market cap is 4.7 billion. Trading volume is very high as well, 2.8 billion, okay. And we'll go and look at the website briefly after, but let's just have a look and see exactly what exchanges that is on. So we know it's on Uniswap, which doesn't seem to be listed right here, but it's also on Binance, okay. Is also on Coinbase, OKEx, and Huobi. So big exchanges, all right. Hence, we we'll see a lot of volume flowing through this, uh, uh, flowing through this. Okay. So it's currently sitting at around forty-seven cents. It says on CoinGecko. On Uniswap, we can see it's currently at around forty-five cents and falling at the moment. Um, and it is the weekend, all right, guys. So just imagine what the volume will be like next week. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But let's just have a look and see exactly what it is. Okay, so the graph is an indexing protocol and global API for organizing blockchain data, making it easily accessible with GraphQL. Developers can use Graph Explorer to search, find, and publish all the public data they need to build decentralized applications. The Graph Network makes it possible to build serverless dApps that run entirely on public infrastructure. And we know recently they had the integration with Chainlink as well, which a lot of people are bullish on also. Chainlink is always, you know, gonna gonna attract investors, right? They're like the biggest project on the market at the moment outside of Ethereum. We're looking at Chainlink. Alright, and the graph is definitely looks like they're trying to take some of that market share. Let's just carry on and, and, and read it here and find out exactly what it is. Okay, so the founders of the graph are Yaniv Tao, which is the project lead, Janis Pullman. Uh, and Brandon Ramirez. Okay, I haven't researched the founders, all right, guys, but that's their names. Go and check them out, do your research. Okay, so the investors of the graph, so they closed a 5 million private token sale 
funded by Coinbase Ventures, which I said earlier, Framework Ventures, Digital Currency Group, and more. While also did a 2.5 million seed round led by Multicoin Capital, a public sale round of 12 million was also concluded a few months before the launch of the mainnet. So um, this is actually taken from the website. So when we go to the website, we'll check out as well. So how does the graph work? Developers can define a subgraph which specifies how blockchain data are structured to be consumed by app and dApp developers. App and dApp developers can query the graph network using the subgraph schema with GraphQL, which are paid in the graph token network. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know exactly what that means. One thing I do know about big data, though, is it probably the most profitable product that you can invest in, I believe. Okay, big data is definitely something that, that makes a lot of money. It's not something that the average person thinks about, but if you're starting a new business or anything like that, where you've got a big business, there's big money in data because you need that data in order to be able to kind of access um, um, your user base, and it definitely helps, okay? Data is gonna launch you uh, launch your business on the right track from the get-go. So the data are served by indexers who act as nodes, incentivized with GRT tokens to ensure that the API is always available in decentralized manner, in a decentralized manner, and data is served correctly. As there can be many subgraphs out there, curators are tasked to find the subgraphs that are most useful to developers, curators are also incentivized with GRT tokens to find the best subgraph that others will find useful. Now, we also know that this already has a use case, all right? We're not just looking at something that's got an idea, okay? We're looking at something that's actually working and that people are using. It's on Coinbase, uh, it's on Binance from the beginning, okay? Because for me, this thing has just come out of nowhere, all right? Obviously, Coinbase Ventures invested in it. Um, is straight on Binance, okay? So we know that big money can flow into this coin and probably will. I don't see why this thing doesn't get into the billions very soon. If you ask me for one reason why it would get into the billions, I would just say big data. There's a use case for big data. So developers are able to obtain most of the essential Ethereum data through the graph, which includes data for Uniswap, Balancer, Curve of, Moloch DAO, Compound, and more. So definitely setting itself up to be a big player in decentralized finance. Apps and dApps that are using the graph includes CoinGecko, Uniswap, Decentraland, Synthetics, Aragon, and more. Okay, so we know that CoinGecko is, well, we're on CoinGecko right now, right? Uniswap, biggest decentralized exchange in the world. Decentraland, um, if you don't, guys don't know what Decentraland is, it's it goes by the ticker MANA, M-A-N-A, and it's basically, if you think about the, the movie Ready Player One, that's almost like what Decentraland are trying to do, okay? Um, virtualized, uh, you can buy land, all that sort of stuff in this virtual arena, okay? Synthetics, DeFi, Aragon, and more. So what is GRT token? It's a native token of the network that's used to coordinate work, GRT is an ERC20 token. Node operators called indexers stake and earn GRT for processing queries. Anyone can delegate GRT to indexers to secure the network and earn rewards. Curators organize data on the graph by signaling GRT on useful APIs called subgraphs or indexers. Delegators and curators work together to organize the data for the crypto economy and maintain a useful global API for DeFi and Web3. I don't know much about this whole web free thing, but it sounds like it's definitely going to be something uh, big in the future. Okay, if we go to the website just quickly, now we have briefed over the website just ever so quickly um, in previous videos. So the graph is an indexing protocol for querying networks like Ethereum and IPFS. Anyone can build and publish open APIs called subgraphs, making data easily accessible. And anything that's going to make it more easier for a business to do what they need to do has got a place in this space because you'll be surprised there's not much information out there in terms of blockchain development okay i mean there is more now than what there was five years ago but blockchain is still uh, a, a very um it's still a very niche sector right guys obviously we understand that when mainstream adoption comes people will look at it differently and you know there's a lot of money to be made if you're an early investor like we are today, 
right? So you're definitely an early investor if you get in on GRT. Some people bought in on the pre-sale on this, and they're you know if if they got in on the pre-sale, uh, whatever the price they got it at, I don't know. And obviously, it would have been listed at a higher price, or, or that's the best way for it to make sense for you to do a pre-sale. But at the peak, they would have been up a thousand percent, so 10x already. Okay. Um, a global graph QL API subgraphs can be composed into a global graph of all the world's public information. This data can be transformed, organized, and shared across applications for anyone to query with just a few keystrokes. So the coders will have a lot of fun with this, and I can see a lot of people signing up to use this service, especially with the hype behind it. Okay, reputation speaks volumes in this space as well. So before the graph, teams had to develop and operate proprietary indexing servers this required significant engineering and hardware resources and broke the important security properties required for decentralization web3 is a new stack for a radically better internet all data is stored and processed on open networks with verifiable integrity the graph makes querying this data fast reliable and secure now i do read pretty fast all right guys so feel free to pause this stuff and have a read for yourself okay entrepreneurs are creating next level apps to scale human coordination on the internet it's a new frontier and we're just getting started now i'm not going to go through all of these all right guys but we have DeFi, governance grants and philanthropy and marketplaces entertainment and social you can click on those at your own leisure go onto the website thegraph.com and check that out now i want to look at i'm just going to skip some of this right for time's sake and i want to look at uh, this section here okay so it's backed by framework powerful capital DTC capital multi coin coinbase ventures digital currency group coin fund collider JD capital stakefish South Park Commons tally capital 122 West compound reciprocal and lemniscape now I don't know what many of these are okay but it looks important and it looks good to me. All right, when you go to a website and you see all of these names, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 backers of this project. One of them being Coinbase Ventures, which most of us watching will know. Because if you're first getting into to, to crypto, that's probably the first go to for a lot of people is Coinbase. All right, my exit plan is with Coinbase, unless I come up with something else. I've got crypto.com as well, which I've actually recently uh, just started to use my card. I've managed to convert some crypto into uh, a GBP. Obviously, uh, make sure you are um, aware of the tax laws in your country and all that sort of stuff to know how to handle that. Okay, so compound as well, that's another one that I know. All right, so it's definitely good to see some. So well, I, I know at least two of those names. I think I may have heard of the Digital Currency Group as well, but they've got a lot of backers. Where are we going? So the crypto economy is a radical new imagining of the future of work. Open protocols will create transparency and opportunity, enabling anyone in the world to contribute their talents to a global economy. We want to support this vision and help developers build the new coordination mechanisms of the internet age. Me being a, uh, a founder of a project myself, okay, I can understand how this stuff appeals. Because if you're trying to build a very sophisticated system, but you don't have much data, you're not going to be able to do it as effectively as you would if you did. Okay, so these guys are definitely uh, um, reaching a gap in the market. All right, guys, and um, they've got the right backers behind them. They're in the right places, um, and straight away, I mean, the exposure that you get out the gate, being on uh, Uniswap, being on Binance, being on Coinbase, being on Huobi, they're open to the American market, they're, they're open to the global market, straight out the gate. All right, guys, so for me, a good potential long-term hold. Now, I don't know the future, okay? For all I know, this could just fail and fall to the wayside, but it's highly unlikely when I consider... Uh, the time that we're in, alt season is around the corner. I believe we're going to see some fireworks in the crypto space. And it's all about being in the right coins when that takes off. New people coming into the crypto space are going to be looking for something new. They're going to be following the hype. All right. And the guys that are bored of the XRPs and all that sort of stuff. This is just another one for them. We're always looking for the next new thing. Who knows? This could be one of them.
and you do what you want with that information. It's definitely uh, a good trader's market at the moment as well, with the total liquidity currently being at 3.2 million. All right, guys. So that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe like and comment tell me guys what do you think about the graph we'll be watching the chart and finding out exactly what's going on with this we'll be looking out for new partnerships looking out for all that sort of juicy information so that we can report on it right here on the crypto lightsaber youtube channel guys i'll see you in the next video